Hi everyone, it's Arnie. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we will be talking about Filipino stereotypes. Yes, that's right. And I will let you know whether I agree with them or disagree with them. I probably will agree with all of them, but we'll see because I haven't read I haven't read it yet. Um, I came across an article um, that lists out um, Filipino stereotypes and I just thought I'd do a reaction about it, whether I agree or not, whether it applies to me or not, whether I think it applies to me or not, maybe my friends think differently, but uh, yeah, so let's just, let's just dive in. So the article is going to be like down in the description, um, but the article is called What Canadians Think of Filipinos and it was uh, written on March 29, 2015. I think it's a blog. I'm not sure. Uh, anyways, okay, so the first thing that they list out is Filipino time. Um, I do try not to be Filipino time or to be on Filipino time, but it's it's a thing. Yes, it's a thing and not everyone is and the Filipinos that aren't are generally mad about that stereotype, but yeah, I I fall under the Filipino time uh, classification. Yes. Um, actually, it's so funny because my coworker uh, on New Year's he greeted me. I think on the first, and then I replied on the fourth or something, and and then he goes Filipino time. <laughs> yeah. Okay. The second one is Filipinos love Asian car brands. Um. I don't know, is Jeep an Asian brand? Um, Jeep is an American brand and I love Jeeps. I think they're, look so, they look so good. Uh, and that's my brand of car if I was ever to get a car. Um, but yes, I do think Filipinos love their Asian car brands. Um, my husband loves Hondas and Toyotas. Uh, he is a mechanic, so he says that it's because they last longer or all or something like that um yeah but i don't know he's the mechanic i want a jeep he wants a honda but he really he really wants a mercedes benz <laughs> if he had the money he would but for practicality and for ease of um fixing i think he would go for uh an asian brand like a toyota or um a honda we're not keen on Kias or Hyundai's, but anyways, those are Asian brands too, so I thought I'd just get it out there. You eat rice every day, every meal. Wow, you're crazy. Um, yes, it's true. Filipinos eat rice all the time, and since I got married, I do eat rice every day now um, for dinner, but for a while there, I didn't, only because you know, for health reasons, I was getting, I was gaining weight and all that. So, um, yeah, Filipinos do eat a lot of rice, even for breakfast. So before when I used to eat breakfast, I would have like a full plate of rice for breakfast. The next one is hilarious because it says you take a bath every day, even if it's too cold or too hot. I think everyone should take a bath every day, right? <laughs> I am gonna skip past that because I think that should not be a Filipino stereotype. I think that should be an everyone stereotype. Every Filipino can sing. That is a stereotype. I think it's because of the karaoke culture. Uh, when I went back to the Philippines uh, like five years ago, and every time I go back to the Philippines, every single day, there's a neighbor somewhere that's karaoke and they typically karaoke outside so everyone can hear and sometimes it's very faint so you know it's somewhere far away but sometimes it's really loud and it's like the neighbor beside you so i think it might be because of that um i do like to sing karaoke i am not good at singing karaoke and i know a lot of people are like me i think most filipinos can sing whether we're good is a, another topic <laughs> Okay, so the next one is why are you noisy? I do talk very loud. Like I'm very loud and I laugh very loud. I, yeah, 
and it's just a it's just a thing and even when i'm with my family we're laughing and all of that um, sometimes my dad has to shush us because we laugh really loud we just talk really loud and it's just it's a cultural thing yeah but it is yes it's true um for the most part you love to use acronyms huh. And then some of the acronyms here is CR for a comfort room, which is washroom in Canadian language. <laughs> um, KSP, kulang sa pansin, which is um, like attention seeker. BF for boyfriend, GF for girlfriend. Um, I think this is a bit outdated because I think everyone uses um, acronyms now. LOL, WTF, WTH, w -Y -Y -A, w -Y -D. So yeah, I think everyone just uses it now. This is old. You're related to everyone. Um, yeah, I guess. I mean, you would think. I, I feel like. I feel like Filipinos, especially the older generation, like to kind of um, ask you where you're from, like what province you're from in the Philippines, and then they're gonna wonder if you're if you're related to someone that they know, and they're gonna ask you what your mom's last name is or your your last your dad's last name which is your last name <laughs> they're gonna ask what your last name is what your mom's last name is and they're gonna try to trace someone that might know someone in your family something like that and i've seen that happen a lot um so yeah that's that's more more on the older generation i think i think that's just a way to try to connect with someone you need to feed everyone that's the next thing um, on this list um, I guess if I think about my mom she does want to feed everyone uh, every time that we have people over uh, she'd have for some reason she'd have something cooked up super quick and you know feed try to feed everyone um, as much as she could but that I did not inherit that especially now um, Whenever my sister, or my brother, or anyone comes over, I ask if they're gonna bring food <laughs> because I typically don't have a lot of food at home. When I was single, I just don't do grocery shopping until I have like absolutely nothing in the fridge left. So, yeah. Um, maybe when I become a mom, maybe that's gonna change. Maybe I'm gonna want to cook more and feed people. But for now, I like to ask my sister or my brother to bring food when they come over. Yeah, so that's it for the list. Thank you so much for staying the whole time. <laughs> and don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment, and I will see you next time. Bye!